him out. And Lori threw him out and then the helmet. And that's going to cost Brett Lori. And now they've got to get Lori and get him back in the dugout. And that helmet throw by Brett Lori leads to our top 10 helmet moments. Sorry, Dark Helmet. You didn't make the cut. <laughs> Looks like we did go over your helmet. And that's Ernster. And Ernster forgot his helmet as he ran out onto the Here he comes. Uh, he knew he had something on his head. It just wasn't plastic. But fortunately, he has enough time on the play clock. I mean, kickers are squirrely, but that may have taken the kick. Well, that's, that's the top of the squirrel then. <laughs> That's the full cake. You know, but really, to be honest with you, he could play without a helmet. <laughs> yeah. Former Redskins quarterback Gus Farad is best known for headbutting the reinforced concrete wall with his helmet on. He was forced to leave the game with a concussion. 2002, Browns, Chiefs, Kansas City down to last play. John Tate gets the ball, and he would eventually run out of bounds, giving Cleveland the game. But Browns linebacker Dwayne Rudd is penalized for throwing his helmet during the play. The Chiefs would nail a field goal and take the game themselves. Here's Jones Drew, first down. And more. Good run as his hat spins around. Your face mask goes up, pointed the wrong way. It's going to be a personal foul, no question. Plus, Lesney pulls his helmet almost right off his head. It's completely facing backwards. Wow, that's, that's, wow, that's scary. I'd suggest throwing helmets is not the kind of emotion you want to see. No, and I think A.J. Gaffney.